here with UAB quarterback Jacob Zeno. Jacob, you probably know the going rate for a quarterback in the transfer portal. Was there ever a point in this offseason where you decided or did, thought about testing that? Um, I mean, I thought about it. I mean, you'd be a fool not to think about it uh, with the numbers that you're hearing around, you know, in this day and age. But, um, you know, I just I thought about um, Coach Dilford and, and the staff and the players that we had last year. Um, and that's just nothing that I wanted to leave, you know, especially if you go back and look at our record. Uh, it was unfortunate, but if you go back and look at those games, we were one thing here, one play here, uh, one little detail here from, you know, it being switched around. So uh, with that, the first time in the system, uh, first time with Coach Dilford, with our head coach. So you, you factor in all those little – all those little deals and you think like man how much better can we be if we all stick together we we already know the offense we know the defense you know and we just fine-tune those little details um and so i knew that if we did that then you know we have a chance to be special your career has really picked up with a lot of momentum since mm -hmm. you know last season and everything what do you credit that to mark work I mean you know it's my sixth year in college uh, I've been counted out I started up high on the mountaintop of the Big Tour Championship fell back down um, almost like uh, like in Batman you know when they throw him in a cave and he has to climb out uh, you could say it's like that um, you know God, all I had to do was just work and uh, wait for my, my moment again and you know I got it so you said this is your sixth year. Is this for sure your final year of eligibility? Yes, I'm done. I, I don't. I have nothing else after this. <laughs> so talk talk to me a little bit about the future of UAB after Zeno Smith, or sorry, Jacob Zeno. Yeah. Who are some of the younger QBs in the room mm -hmm. that you know you feel that could you know carry the program to where you're going to leave it off at? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you go look at our roster, uh, we have a lot of quarterbacks. Um, you know, Jalen Kitna is uh, really going to be the one that I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, next year. Uh, we got Adrian Posse. We have um, Landry. We have Carter, uh, Harrison. Uh, we got some young bucks in the room right now. Um, but all those guys, you know, that's all they know is the work, um, especially with Coach Dilford, Coach Moore, Coach Coleman. Um, they have good guys right there to, to learn from. So, you know, I, it's, it's, it's going to be good next year. Um, I'm looking forward to see what they're going to be doing next year. What are your personal goals for the season? Um, that's a good question. Um, really just to double what I did last year. Um, I feel like it's going to double naturally just off of me being – um, in the offense the second year, me having experience playing, um, just seeing things that I didn't see last year. You know, I've been going back on film this whole offseason and, and being like, man, I, I played horrible last year. Like, I'm missing guys wide open. I'm doing this. I'm trying to force balls. And so just knowing that, I feel like I'm going to be two times better uh, this year. So, I mean, I hate to put, like, numbers and stuff out there, but – I can say that um, I probably have four to five passing, um, to get the the interception touchdown ratio down. Um, so you know it's gonna be good. Do you have any weapons in this offense that, you know, maybe one or two that you want to highlight that you're excited to play with again? In A this? whole bunch. <laughs> I got toys everywhere. It's fun. Uh, I mean, just to start off with the running game, you know, those. Those guys, they're going to help me a lot because, you know, when the defense there is, is backed up in coverage, you know, we'll be able to run the ball down the throat. And, you know, they can't really – they can't stop both things. So we have Isaiah Jacobs. We have um, uh, BB. We have Witherspoon. Um, who else do we have? We have uh, Armani. Uh, he transferred in from LSU. Um, so just those guys alone makes it a whole lot better. And then with the receivers, you know, those are guys that make my job a whole lot easier. Uh, so we got Brandon Buckhalter, we got B.J. Hawkins, um, we got Malachi, um, who else? We have Amari Thomas last year, uh, Cam Shanks, we have Corey, um, Yusuf Terry, uh, Slid, my man in there. Um, 
who else do we have? I mean, it's just, it's weapons everywhere, man. It, it makes my job a whole lot easier. And then not only that, but just with the line too, uh, we built the line up pretty good. So we, we beefed it up. Um, last year that was a problem just because we didn't have a lot of depth in line. So we had a lot of guys rotating. Um, so, you know, we added depth there. And, you know, the sky's the limit right now. We just got to put our head down and keep working. The latest breaking news of the college football world is the release of EA College Football. Right. Have you had a chance to play it? I did. So <laughs> it's crazy because you know how, like, you sign up, you get in the game, you get the game early, right? Well, I couldn't wait. <laughs> so, so I bought it early. <laughs> I bought it like a day, two days before we were supposed to get it. And I got it playing it. So, yeah, that's all we're on right now. So you got two copies then. Is I that do. All right. All right. Yeah. What's your overall in the game? In like an 83. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty solid for, um, who's the, if you guys know, who's the best player of the game, like as far as playing it on the team? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna put my business out there. I'm not gonna say how bad he beat me or anything like that. But just from the people I played, my roommate, Bryce Davis, he is, yeah. He put it on me a little bit. He's like that? <laughs> yeah, he put it on me a little bit. <laughs> but I mean, if you go ask them, Amari might say that he's the best. So I don't know. Me personally, I got to say Bryce. Jacob, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.